Peter, why are some programming languages basically an invitation for a digital catastrophe, while others are as safe as a padded room? You better explain this before my tablet explodes. Well, Stewie, it often comes down to type safety and memory management. Languages like C or C++ give you direct control over memory, but they do not hold your hand. One wrong pointer and you have a buffer overflow. On the other hand, languages like Rust have strict rules. Rust uses a unique ownership system that prevents memory leaks at compile time. It is like having a high-tech security guard checking every line of code before it even runs. Stay tuned because the way a language handles errors is the real game changer. So it is basically a choice between total freedom and total safety? What about those pesky errors that only show up when the program is actually running? Exactly. Languages like Go force you to handle errors explicitly. Functions often return an error value that you must check. Compare that to older languages where an exception might bubble up and crash the whole server because someone forgot a catch block. Here is a pro tip. Languages with strong static typing catch 50% more bugs during development than dynamic languages like Python. While dynamic languages are faster to write, they often lead to runtime errors that are harder to debug in production environments. If you want to build reliable software, focus on languages that make illegal states unrepresentable. So, pick the right tool or prepare for a long night of debugging. This was actually useful for once, Peter. Glad to help! If you want to write better code and avoid those midnight crashes, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more deep dives.